Hey everyone, so today I will be doing a review of the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, which is right here, and the Makeup Forever HD Powder. So you've probably heard a lot of these things, especially on YouTube, and I decided to jump the bandwagon a few weeks ago to try it out and give my review to you guys and see if I can find my Holy Grail Foundation, and I'm glad to say that I think I have. In this video, I'll be talking about its coverage, its lasting power, its blendability, the variances of shades and stuff. Um, so the coverage. So the coverage of this foundation is definitely a full coverage. I was amazed at this coverage. I use it the MAC 187, which is like basically the sheerest application you can go. You can use a paddle brush or sponge or your hands, and you probably have more coverage that way. But even with the MAC 187, it really, you know, builds on the coverage and it's, it looks great still. And um, I was just really surprised with the coverage. So props to the coverage because I need mega coverage right now. Second thing is probably the blendability. It blends great. There's no streaking. Don't worry about that. And um, it's just a perfect the most perfect consistency. You know, the lasting finish by Ramella has perfect consistency and that's just sort of like it. The Carrera's Wild Rose Foundation I thought was way too watery. So good, good texture, good blendability. The amount of shades also you'll be happy to know that there are a lot of shades available. Not like Clinique's even better, five shades, Ramel, five shades. Here there's like 20 shades, so you'll definitely find your shade. I was really pleased to find mine as well, that I got this in Sephora Singapore, so I paid for these products. And the makeup artist there, you know, did my face and, and really matched my foundation. The day I wore this foundation, my parents were like, oh my gosh, like, you look so much better. Like, did, are, you, are you probably wearing less makeup? And I was like, no, I'm not wearing less makeup. I'm actually wearing the same amount of makeup. But um, yeah, they were surprised to know that. So I think by just finding your right color, you already you know, look better. And um, the selling point of this foundation is that you know it, it has mica in it. So the mica particles have you know, a soft focus effect. So a lot of actors or actresses use this foundation because um, on, on screen they need to like not have the blemishes or not have the pores showing up. So they use this and it just blurs everything away. And I see that immediately when I put this on and um, put some powder on it. No pores, seriously. And the lasting power, awesome. Lasts all day long, you don't have to worry about that. Morning till night, even I went clubbing with this still stayed on the whole day so I I went jogging with this I don't know don't you know get on my case about jogging with this I just want to try makeup and jogging but you know that's even then it's not too dangerous because this foundation actually it not only is it oil free it has three silica particles in it meaning three kinds of silica particles in it meaning that it doesn't clog your pores so you know you clog your pores like this and the silica particle you know it just won't fit so if you have acne prone skin, then this foundation is great for you because it can't clog your pores. Like there's no way, like it just doesn't fit. So it just sort of rides on your skin like this and it just creates that soft focus effect. It just sort of rides on it, not in it sort of thing. So it's just a great foundation. You know, I'm acne prone skin. I have, I've seen no breakouts from this. Of course, our skin's different, remember. And I've actually seen improvements in my skin, the redness has decreased uh, loads thanks to this foundation, I think, and also my new skincare regime, which I will be talking about later. The Makeup Forever HD powder is also great. It, it's a powder that's supposed to, it has mica and silica, it's supposed to you know, sweep away your pores as well. But the only gripe I have about this powder is that, look, it's, ugh, it's a loose powder, and they don't have any cap or anything. They don't care, basically, that you spill the powder everywhere and you have to buy more later. The powder even is on the rim, it's everywhere. You have to use a big fluffy brush. You can use Kabuki's, you can use everyday mineral brushes. I use the MAC 134 to put on my powder, which I bought recently. But yeah, I just don't like how it's a loose powder form. Very reminiscent of the Everyday Minerals old packaging, which I love their products. It's just that it's just so messy to get into, I realized, so I stopped using those products. But other than that, it's a translucent powder. And the day I was, you know, going to buy the HD Foundation powder, I was thinking, should I buy this or the Neural Eye Skin Finish Natural because I had run out of that. But I bought this instead since I do YouTube reviews and it'd be great to put that product out there. 
but I actually went back to MAC and bought the MSF Natural, so I have the two powders now, because that just provides coverage and this doesn't. So if you want coverage, then just get that one. But I still use this. I still use this as a, my last step after I put all my makeup to just make sure my pores are not there. I hate pores. Anyway, so this is a great product. I'm just going to give it a 4 out of 5 because they really need to fix the packaging. And it would just be great if the packaging was fixed. This one receives, however, 5 out of 5. I'm so happy that I've finally found my Holy Grail foundation. It just makes me completely flawless, matches my skin color, and it's just awesome. So these are the two products. And if you have any questions about these babies, just comment below, blog, Twitter, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.